Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those who already know me and for those who don't, welcome. My name is Michael. I'm a French guy reacting most of the time in English to music video that I'd like to share with you, some that I'd like to discover with you. And today um, I want to discover and share a uh, um, performance from Dire Straits. Okay, and uh, of course I know the song and you probably know it uh, too. It's uh, Sultans of Swing. Uh, but the recording is uh, from 1979 and it's a live recording. I think that it's, um, it's on a TV show, uh, so it's a bit different when it's a concert, obviously, but uh, it's, it's going to be interesting, especially things I, I think that um, Sultans on Swing were released in 1978, so it's just one year after, so it's a huge hit, but not as uh, classic as it is nowadays. So um, it's going to be interesting to see uh, Mark Knopfler and uh, his band um, performing this um, this song. So, okay, uh, if you already know this performance, this live version of Sultans of Swing, I think you're going to enjoy it once again. And if you're just like me discovering it, we're going to have a good time too. So let's go with Dire Straits, Sultans of Swing 1979 live. Creole. 
is a time battle Good night, thank you, you now it's time to go home Let me mix it fast, one more thing We are the Sultan We are the Sultans of Spain Okay, so um, yes, it, it's it's a bit weird um, the the atmosphere of this live performance because I don't know if it's you know really small uh, concert um, room uh, or if it's for a TV show because everyone is so you know well seated and uh, then usually in this kind of concert people are more uh, more you know they they. they yelling they shouting they singing they moving a lot and this is kind of um really uh, calm and really quiet so it's a it's a bit weird but i think maybe it's a it's a like a, for a tv show live recording for a tv show maybe um that that would make sense and that would maybe explain why um I, i've seen different uh several um version performance of a certain of swing uh live and uh usually uh they are much longer and they are more they're not really that close to the original version uh because they essentially from until one minute 30 one minute 40 uh it's you can have even except from the quality of the sound you can tell the difference between the i think the the live version and the studio version uh it's really really close uh, and then around 130, 140, you have this, he, he, Mark Knopfler changed a bit the way he sings the melody. And uh, so he, he, like he's getting more uh, comfortable and m more free <laughs> kind of. And so, uh, so you can see the difference. Uh, there's one thing that bothered me, I think, uh, at three minutes and 35, 30, 35 seconds, uh, I think that they kind of messed up a bit. I'm not sure. I think that, yes, sometimes it was a, a bit out of tune and um, the, even the drummer was a bit off and uh, it took a few seconds just to get back on their feet. I think you 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 will tell me if you agree with me, but yes, there, there was a kind of, you know, floating moment like this and uh, it was a bit weird, but uh, that happened. And um, and uh, I would like to um, to underline the, the bass. The bass, uh, even though it's uh, it's not the quality of the sound is not good, but I think yes, in this case, the, we can definitely hear the importance of the bass uh, in this song. The, the added value uh, in this song. Uh, usually, we're more focused on the guitar and uh, the drums, but there on the bass is. I think it's really uh, a good a good. Um, addition to the to the to the song um and i love the the way uh, mark knopfler sings uh, you know so um yeah so normal kind of uh is more like in is telling a story is more like a storyteller than just a vocalist and um and uh, this is great i love the 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 is this kind of voice too uh it's not in the demonstration it's really straight 
uh, and um, yes, it, it's really clear and uh, it, it fits perfectly with the style of the songs that he sings. So that, that that's great. And of course, um, the guitar is uh, iconic. This uh, those riffs of the guitar uh, are iconic, and uh, so. Um, this is this is a really good moment, and you can see that they, um, I think that at the end they, they're really enjoying uh, this performance. Uh, I'm not sure that they like uh, doing performing in this uh, kind of on this kind of stage, uh, but finally you can see that they they're enjoying and uh, they are, they have fun, and uh, that's that's the main importance, uh, the main thing I think. So, okay, just let me know what you think about this live performance and uh, if you want me to react to other performances from Dire Straits. As far as the copyrights allow me to do that, um, uh, I would be glad to, to go uh, uh, with this band that I, I like. I don't know that much uh, from them. I know all the, um, the classic songs, obviously. But uh, yes, I, I'm more than willing to discover some others. Even uh, the Notting Hill Billies, the, the other band that Mark Lockfler, um was in uh, um, at the, you know, I think it was in the 90s, I think. Uh, yes, um, I, I'm just, uh, I would be glad to discover some more, thong, more songs from them. Sorry. Okay, so just let me know what you think about my video, please. And if you enjoyed it, remember to subscribe to my channel, to click on the like button, to share my channel to whoever may be interested into it. And I hope to talk to you soon, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.